Hello Legion, this is Hadrian. Thank you for being here. Let's play some more of The Long Dark in our Against All Odds series. We are headed back to where we started the last episode because I feel like a blizzard's about to kick in. And I don't want to get caught unawares and unprepared. Well, I'm not unaware, but I don't want to get, get caught unprepared. Because we don't really have a place that I definitively know how to get to for shelter on the far side of the zone. The far side of the zone doesn't have a lot in the way of, like, huts and places you can step into and visit. It, it, I think there's one, just one, um, that it may, may even be burned out because we're playing on Stalker, so you never know what, what houses are burned out and what, what houses aren't. But, um, actually, tell you what, can we head back this way? This isn't the road I was thinking of using, or is it? Um, I mean, this will take us back into, into Pleasant Valley. What I need to do, basically, is if the... If the weather turns on us and get, go, turns into a full-fledged blizzard... You know what? No. No, 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 no. I'm just going to keep going back down. We're going to wait till the weather gets better. I don't want to go blindly walking out into the abyss. Okay, we're closer to the houses than I thought we were. So yeah, maybe that was the road that I was thinking of. It's just, it's so... There's such a blinding white breeze at the moment, if you will, that I couldn't quite tell. Yeah, it seems like this is just about to turn into a blizzard. We've got a few cattails on us that we picked at the end of the last episode, so I have some food. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm glad I made that decision. I say I hate being cold. You, you said it a few times, I do. actually. And in, in several different words, very poetically. Okie dokie. Um, I need to rest, so that involves actually going across to the house here and hoping that the wolf is not too close. Because there is a wolf in this area. We've tangled with him a couple of times. Actually, there are a few wolves in this area. I can't remember if we ever went into that house over there. I don't think we did. Okay. Right as we catch up at Thermia Risk. Not bad. So that means we actually didn't lose any condition when we very well could have. Yeah, we're still at 100. Nice. Yeah, and stepping inside instantly healed our hypothermia risk, in fact. Yeah, I've already explored everything here. So yeah, let's just um, let's stay in here and get warm for a bit. And hope the blizzard doesn't last all day, which it probably will because we're in Pleasant Valley. Take another look at our equipment. No, we don't need to do any repairs right now. We're good. Drink a little bit of water. Not totally necessary, but hey. I will tell you what, let's go ahead and just sleep. For as long as the game will let me. Probably two or three hours, I'm guessing. Weather actually sounds pretty good. So let's go ahead and... Oh, we have three cattails. I thought I just had... I guess I didn't eat all of them when I thought I did. Well, that's nice. That's 450 calories that I now have. And what I can also do now is go ahead and drink couple of these cups of coffee. I do need to be better, I said this in the last episode, but I do need to be better about making sure, this is a general tip as well, you know, try not to, you know, drink a caloric drink, whether it's soda, coffee, tea, anything that's going to replenish thirst and hunger, you want to not drink those after you've already replenished all your thirst by drinking water, you know? Pretty basic tip, but a, but a good tip nonetheless. Oh, man. Well, the weather's crappy in Pleasant Valley. Who's surprised? <laughs> I am completely blown away, let me tell you. All right, so let's let's go back the way we went before. It's going to be a little bit of deja vu. It's about midday. But this time we are definitely going to go back and head the other direction and hope the weather actually kind of clears. It feels like 33 degrees, so thankfully we're not losing any warmth at the moment. We are fine, and we just need to... Let's get the rifle out, just in case. Also, really quickly, do I have... Yeah, I've got a couple of cleaning kits on me. Good. So I can keep the rifle up at, up in pristine condition if we end up firing it more and, you know... Needing to repair it. 
needing to clean it. We can do that. Alright, so we're generally heading back in this direction. I'm just waiting until I actually find the path, which should be just ahead. Yeah, it's this... It's just past this rock, in fact. Yeah, I see the path. I can see it. Very good. So we're gonna veer back this way, save a little bit of time. Cut corners. Yes, this is exactly where I thought we'd be. All right, so like I said, uh, when I was first talking about going back in this part of Pleasant Valley, I haven't been back here that often at all. Matter of fact, I can only recall vividly one time that I've been up this hill, and it was not in an Against All Odds series. It was just in solo play. I was exploring Pleasant Valley, and I found some new, new parts of Pleasant Valley I'd never seen before. I was like, oh, I should go here on YouTube at some point. Because I never have. When I get to the top of this hill, I'll use our uh, charcoal really quickly. Still trying to get better at that. We've only mapped out a couple of very specific areas of Pleasant Valley so far. I'm tempted to sprint right now, but I'm not going to. I'm going to restrain myself. And I can't recall what we're going to see when we get to the top of this hill. A downhill portion. All right. <laughs> so, charcoal. There we go. All right, so not a lot of visibility towards this, this side right now. If I map again, that should change. Pleasant Valley, are you serious? You're not going to do this to me, are you? I'm going to have to go back. It's, it's about to spit another blizzard at me. I hate this place. I hate it so much. I just want to look around. Can you actually live up to your namesake for five goddamn seconds? So I can do anything in an episode. That would, that would be nice. <sighs> All right. Yeah, I, would, I really would like to keep going that way, but I don't know my way well enough to like be able to get to shelter reliably, and I don't have a bedroll. I might be able to build a... Hang on. There is an additional option. 15 sticks and 5 cloth. What do I got? I don't think I have any cloth on me, because I used it to repair stuff. Alright, so that's not, that's not an option either. So, next opportunity, I'm going to grab 5 cloth, but I need to double back here. It really seemed like a blizzard was about to start there, but now it seems like it's... ...tapering a bit. You know what? Screw it. Just screw it. I'm gonna go this way so we go a little bit of a different direction, but... Famous last words, I know, but I just... I, I'm, I'm sick of going back and forth. This, by the way, is the reason for the Pleasant Valley rants. For those of you who have been more like, I don't understand why you hate Pleasant Valley, Hadrian. Why would it? Why would you ever hate a place called Pleasant Valley? It's so pleasant. I'm not mocking you. I realize there are people who genuinely like this zone, and that's fine. <laughs> I'm just having a little fun with my own uh, feelings about the place. But oh, hi, a couple of wolves. But but yeah, it's it's not generally 
a, a kind zone to me when it comes to the weather. And stuff like this has happened multiple times where you just kind of want to break and it will not give it to you when other zones will. So it can be just kind of tough. Okay, here's one spot that I haven't visited yet. This is a looks like a camping area, but I don't see any shelter. So let's let's head down here really quickly and see if we find anything. I see a body and a bunny. Nice. Orange soda. Some cedar firewood. This is going to encumber us, but you know what? I'm going to take it. Because if we need to start a fire for survival somewhere, if we can find shelter, that could come in handy. Alright, so that's the road we were on. We need to keep going this direction. Did I search the body? D did I just... Hang on. I can't remember if I actually clicked search. No, I didn't. Nothing. Of course nothing. Well, I shouldn't say of course. This is an interloper, so there's a better chance that we'll actually find something each time we stumble upon a body. But All right, let's see if we can see anything else over this hill before the weather gets too much worse. We'll drink that soda momentarily. That's going to be a nice 250 calorie boost. That was a nice find, given our hunger situation. I wish visibility was a little bit better. You know what we could do right now? We could totally go to Mystery Lake. We're headed towards the transition zone towards Mystery Lake. We could. We've got we've got what we need to kill Fluffy. We haven't typically taken that route. Aha! Okay, hang on. All right, there's that's not indoor shelter, but it's shelter. And there could also be cattails here, so that's useful. Hang on, let me not completely bungle this. Okay, there's a deer. That implies lack of predators nearby. Oh good, there's a fishing hut! Oh good, there are boats! There might be stuff on the boats. Oh, this is awesome. I forgot there was so much stuff here. And there's cattails! Okay. We're home free. We can get shelter here, we can light a fire, we can... The only thing we won't be able to do is rest, but we can get shelter. Blessed, blessed cattails. Okay. Have never been here in a season of Against All Odds, so this is new for the series. Not a new area in Pleasant Valley by any means, but new for the series. Deer, you are literally almost sideways. I just, which I would like to point that out. There's some rose hips up there, but frankly, I am more interested in cattails at the moment. Definitely. I think that's what I might do. I think we're going to go to Mystery Lake and explore that area. We are going to go to Timberwolf Mountain in the series, I promise. It's just... Or maybe we can go to Timberwolf Mountain next. I, I don't know. Like, it's just, they're good... I'm, I'm thinking about paths that I haven't taken before. New ways to travel through the game. Not only for the sake of just making things new and interesting for me, but new and interesting for you as well. Okay, the weather actually seems like it might be getting better, maybe? Can't quite tell. Any cattails in here? None. I see plenty over there, though. Oh, yeah. Just kidding. Two. <laughs> I thought there were more. Okay, there's some. Good. All right, this, this is still good. This is well over a thousand calories we just got. So I can consume those momentarily. God, I have never been so hungry in my life. That's what I was just talking about. Okay, nothing in this boat. That boat's upside down, so nothing in that one, because I won't be able to get to anything in that one. Don't hear any bear crows. Another summit soda, perfect. Or another soda, the first one we found. Oh, really? Where are you? If there's a door on this hut, I'm definitely gonna be using it. 
There you are. Please have a door. Please have a door. Good. Ha! In your face. And a Survive the Outdoors book. Awesome, we finally found a book in Against All Odds Season 4. About damn time. So you, we're definitely going to be sitting in here starting a fire and reading. While we wait for this wolf to go the hell away. But we might actually be a little bit warmer in here too. Let's see. Yeah, we are. Feels like 44 degrees in here. Nice! Okay. Well, we can definitely recover a little bit of... Well, we're not missing any condition. We're at 100% condition. But we can definitely kind of relax for a bit in here. And there, we can even fish if we wanted to. We could go that crazy. But we don't have shelter nearby, so I do still need to be careful in that regard. Let's see. First things first, let's um, consume some of these sodas. Maybe just one for now, and then eat some cattail stalks. Because I have 14. Not bad. And we definitely picked up some firewood, so I need to get rid of that, which will get rid of some weight. And give us some time with which to read. Let's eat one more. There we go. Calorimeter is nice and full. And yeah, let's start it with... No, we're not going to light the book on fire. Oh uh, yeah, let's just try and start with the cedar firewood. Not going to hurt anything. And use one of our cattail heads. Come on, little fire. <laughs> All right, that worked. So now let's go ahead and pile some additional wood on this thing. We don't really have anything to cook, per se. We could heat, tell you what, yeah, let's, let's heat this coffee. So it'll keep us rested. And keep us warm. What am I doing? There we go. Drink. All right, and now let's read for... Let's get rid of a little bit more fuel here. I'm not going to get rid of the other cedar firewood. I'll get rid of two sticks. So we have two hours on this fire. And let's go ahead and we need to read. This, this is not going to finish this book off, but this will help our fire starting skill. It's fantastic. So let's see... Research for two hours. Now, the only downside of what we're doing is we're gonna. We just passed a lot of time. Weather looks decent right now. Foggy, but decent. Tell you what, let's go ahead and add fuel and take a torch. Just in case we run into any buddies. Yeah, see, like that. Where are you? Really? You're still right here? All right, showdown time. I'm not going to be held back by this wolf. All right, here's how this is going to go. I'm going to walk this way. Throw the, the torch down right there. Just keep walking, so he's going to stop at the torch. Presumably. No, he's not. He's going to keep walking. <laughs> Alright, so we got a wolf on our tail. I see a bridge over there. I'm not familiar with what bridge that is. Let me... Oh, whoa, 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 what was that, game? What was that? Unexpected little slope there at the edge of the ice. I've never seen that before. Oh, did he... Did he piss off? He pissed off. Alright. Awesome. Alright, we're gonna head back this way then. So it seems like we're right at the end of the day here. Pretty well rested. So any particular direction I want to go, I can go. I'm just taking a look around this back end of the zone. Again, I haven't really been back here a lot at all. So I could be walking straight towards a bear's den and not know it. But this is looking familiar. I feel like this... I remember this as some kind of landmark before, perhaps to get back to Mystery Lake. This particular hoop. 
that we're passing through here. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember this. I know what this is leading towards. Okay. We're gonna take a left here. Nighttime trek to Mystery Lake, anyone? Don't worry, we'll be back for, for Timberwolf Mountain. This is gonna be probably a long series, I would imagine. We will, we will visit Timberwolf Mountain. But for now, I actually think following the natural progression of where we're walking is the smartest thing to do. Plus, we're getting some good exploration knocked out while we're here. We still have stuff curing at the um, farmstead, so we'll have to go back there eventually, too. So that's, you know, on our way to Timberwolf Mountain, we'll go to the farmstead and, you know, see, see, what, uh, see what we can get there. We don't need the wolfskin... For anything, because we have expedition, we have an expedition parka, but ah, oh, fog's actually clearing a little bit. Nice. Yeah, we have the expedition parka, so we don't need the wolfskin coat, but um, we still have the materials for it. If we ever, if something were to happen to the expedition parka, God forbid. If we got damaged in a series of wolf attacks and all of a sudden it was ruined and we didn't have a chance to repair it, you know, that's where it would be handy. Okay, I don't see the cave yet, but I'm almost positive we're coming up on it. Because this is, this is definitely, this looks so familiar. Like I've been here before. Either that or the cave is back that way somewhere. And I just completely overlooked it, but I don't think I've seen it yet. I think it's further back here. Weather actually seems to be worsening pretty quickly. There wasn't any snow in the air a second ago, and now it seems like it's about to start a blizzard on me. Freaking Pleasant Valley. If I could just find the entrance to the cave and get a save point, everything would be fine. But that's a big if. Is, is that it? Is that? That's it. Or at least that is a cave. But I'm pretty sure that's the cave. Hey. How's it going? <laughs> what if I just took that shot right there? <laughs> yeah, let's go on a nighttime trek to Mystery Lake. We can survive it. As long as we're indoors, we've got some light. We'll be good. Oh, there's a, uh, a sapling. Definitely gonna grab that. Haven't found too many saplings yet this series. Interesting, I'm seeing stars, which implies the weather's not that bad. Alright, birch sapling. And let's head back in here. Yeah, I'm almost positive this is it. Yep. Oh no. No, 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 no. This is just a cave. Crap! Did I walk by it? Is it the other direction? I don't, I genuinely don't know. Son of a... Let's see, how encumbered am I? I'm not that encumbered, so it's not like I'm being that slowed down. But... Alright, let me go up this hill, just as a way of looking a little bit further in the direction I was already going and making sure I'm not being an idiot. or missing anything else, or missing a spot where I could potentially get shelter, you know. But I want to find the cave, ideally. I mean, we could stop at the cave, we could we could light a fire in the cave we just left. It's not the end of the world. Yeah, that's a wolf. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like I walk right past it. Because we're, we're too far past the point where, where I would have expected to see the cave. Oh, hi. I didn't see you. I thought I heard growling. I was like, wait a minute. There's a wolf nearby. Right, so let's try and get inside the cave. Never actually shot a wolf inside a cave before. The sun is setting. 
going to get a lot colder soon. You think? Heard him bark. Are you going to come inside, dude? Or are you just going to torture me? No, he's going to run off. Okay. So here's what I'm going to do. Um, well, this sucks. I don't have a means to rest. I thought I was going to find the way to Mystery Lake immediately, but we're at the 25-minute mark, so what I need to do is go ahead and make a save point. Let's, let's see here. Um, we're, we don't need a fire, necessarily, and this weather might pass. So here's what I'll do. I'm just going to pass the time for... It's not dark yet. I could actually read right now and be okay. How cold are we? Yeah, so let's let's read first. So there's that. Doesn't look like there's a blizzard outside, but let's go ahead and now pass the time. Now if I hit that, okay, now I have to pass the time for a full hour to get the save point. So noted. See, now we're pretty tired. I don't know if we can make it to Mystery Lake on this. I mean, we can. We did it in Interloper, so we can do it here. But, um... I didn't see if there was a save point just then. Oh, now I'm really annoyed. I, I need to end this episode, but I, I need, I need a, a stopping point. Because I'm not recording another one after this. Okay, well, I gotta keep going. <laughs> I, I didn't see if it saved. I did not see the indicator pop up. Alright, so, maybe it did and I just didn't see it, but... I can't, can't stop unless I'm absolutely sure that that's happened. And now things are a lot more precarious. I'm in a dark part of Pleasant Valley, but I haven't explored that often. I'm going to hug this wall here. It feels like 27 degrees, so we're going to be cold. I'm going to travel back alongside this wall with my lantern. And we're going to look for the cave heading back this direction, because I'm almost positive we passed it somehow. It might be up on a ledge that I didn't, like, that was kind of off to the left. That's what I'm thinking it is. And so I just kind of accidentally ignored it. I just need to keep an eye out for any wolves right in front of me. That would be scary and annoying in equal measure. I know that that arch that I found is the landmark that I thought it was. I'm confident of that. And if I'm wrong, I'm sure you guys will correct me. But my point is, I, I remember passing through that arch, coming to Pleasant Valley from Mystery Lake, one of the first times I used that route off of YouTube. And thinking, okay, that's a great way to remember how to get back to this this path, you know? Could this be it? No, this is a dead end. But that's the kind of thing I was thinking of, is it would be back kind of in a nook and cranny that I overlooked when I was first heading this direction a second ago. I think I still see some... No, that's all snowflakes. I'm trying to judge the how clear the sky is above the snowflakes. This should... Damn. Oh. Oh. That hurts. Okay, actually, I need to deal with that right now. Because if I need to fire a, a shot, I won't be able to with that sprain. So, all right, hang on. Let's step up here. This is one potential area that I might have overlooked. Visibility is crap. So I could be looking at the cave and not know it. That's the other issue. Okay, wait. 
Wait, 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 wait. Okay, wait. Yeah, 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 yeah. This, this feels good. This feels good. This ledge feels familiar. Something is calling from my memory. Yes. I found it. Okay. Step inside. Save indicator. Gimme, gimme, gimme. There it is. Okay. We have found the entrance to Mystery Lake from Pleasant Valley. That took a little bit of extra time, but, and at the 30 minute mark too, not too bad. I'm going to go ahead and stop this one here. In the next one, we are going to go to Mystery Lake. We're going to explore that zone in its entirety, as well as the new locations you might not have seen if you haven't played the game recently, because they've made some changes to Mystery Lake. Uh, but then we're going to, um, in the future, you know, just, we might visit Forlorn Muskeg, uh, since we've got some pretty good gear right now. Um, so it might be time to go ahead and do that, because that's the newer zone, and people have been dying for me to do that. And then maybe after we're done there, if we survive, we will head back to Timberwolf Mountain at some point in the series. So we've got a long list of locations to visit ahead of us, and I can't be more excited about it. So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this one, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to follow along. New episodes are coming out every day at 6 p.m. Eastern Time. Comments are always welcome. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you next time.